Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 12 of our series of session on Tally Prime Release 3.0 where we are covering the GST module features. So in the last session, we understood how we can account for advance received and how the amount entered in the receipt voucher gets automatically reported in the written form. And in the subsequent month, when we raised an invoice, we were able to adjust the advance. And in the return, the amount of advance paid gets reduced in the tax invoice where we have charged the full GST on the taxable amount. Now, let us take another use case. Let's say that the customer does not want the material or you are not able to supply the material and for some reason you would now want to refund the advance that you have taken and also you have reported in the month where you have received the advance and you have cleared the liability of GST. Now in the subsequent month when you are refunding the advance the amount of GST paid can be reduced from the liability that arises out of other supplies for that particular month. So we will see how are we going to handle this situation in Tally. Let us go to Tally and learn how we can manage this exception of refund of advance. Let us take an example of a use case. Let's say the dealer is receiving advance against future supply of services in the month of July and the advance is accounted and the dealer is also discharging the liability of the advance receipt GST in the month of July. Now, for some reason, the customer has probably cancelled the order or the dealer is not able to provide the services. So in such case, whatever advance is received by the dealer, he has to return it back to the customer. Already GST is being discharged on the advance amount received. So how do we handle that? The law very clearly states that if the advance amount is refunded back, you can capture that data and then reflect them in the respective table in the subsequent month when the GSTR returns are filed and adjust or set off the GST that is paid on the advance amount. Now, this is what we are going to see now in Tally. First, let us make an advance receipt entry for the month of July. I am in the receipt entry. The date is 1st of July. And now, before we start capturing the transaction, we will have to select the stat adjustment. And the nature of receipt is advance receipt. Enter. The flag has come here. Now, credit the customer who is paying you the advance. The customer detail for GST purpose. Here, we are going to provide professional services. The advance amount received is 1 lakh. Tally will automatically back calculate which we saw in the previous video. Only towards one service we are receiving the advance. So, you say enter. And this is advance. So, we say advance 1. Enter. End of list and the amount is deposited into the bank. So you're going to save this. Now, when you are going to file your return for the month of July, let us see how this information is going to be reflected in the return. First, we will see GSTR1 return. So just type 1 and select GSTR1 and change the date to July. So we will notice here that for the month of July on 1 lakh rupee advance, the taxable value which tally is back calculated the amount is specified here and on this taxable amount, the tax is computed automatically. So this is your CGST and SGST liability, which is reflecting in GSTR1 and the same information will reflect in GSTR 3B as liability to be discharged. So how do we see 3B? On the right hand side button bar, you have this option called change view. Click on change view and select GSTR 3B. And again, you have to just change the period for the month of July. Now, if you see here under GSTR 3B, you have this taxable amount where the liability is there. When you enter, it is going to specify that outward taxable supply other than zero rated, nil rated because it's going to be taxable. Now, again, when you press enter for the second time, the detail of your liability for the current period is 
given here. So the liability is arised due to advance receipt where the tax liability is shown here. So on this amount, the tax liability is shown here. So this way, automatically the receipt entry gets captured in the respective GSTR form of GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B. The example that we discussed that the dealer is now going to refund the advance amount they have received towards the future supply of services. So they have to make a payment entry. So how are we going to handle the GST aspect of it when the payment voucher is made is what we will see now. Change the date to 1st of August, enter and now change the voucher to payment, just press F5 payment and before passing the entry, again on the right hand side button bar, you have this button called stat adjustment, click on stat adjustment and this time you have this flag which says refund of advance receipt. So that is what we are actually making the payment. Select refund of advance receipt. The flag has already come here as refund of advance receipt. And now we are going to pass the normal entry. So you're going to debit the customer. The GST detail is for the form purpose. Enter. Again, we are going to say this was towards professional services. We had received an advance amount of 1 lakh, which is going to be refund. So here, if you see the title here, it says refund amount. Enter. The same back calculation happens, not applicable. And this time for our records or for our books of account, we are going to say against reference since we had created advance as a fresh reference. So when you say against reference, Tally is going to give you the list of pending references. So we had specified as advance one. This amount is being refunded. So press enter end of list and you can save this entry. Control A. So let's go to GSTR one and GSTR three B and see the impact of this transaction. I'm not passing any sales entry here so that you know we can see this amount exclusively getting reflected so that we can understand better. Now under GSTR one return for the month of August, the adjustment of advance is now reflecting in the negative value so that whatever is your outward supply on which GST is collected, that will be the positive amount. And from that amount of GST, liability this value will get deducted and then the balance amount will get reflected that is what we saw in our previous video so come down here enter it is going to give you the breakup state with the gst percentage is getting reflected here escape now let's go to gstr 3b and view the return click here again on change view select gstr 3b change the period now if you notice under the tax on outward and reverse charge inward supply it is reflecting as minus figure. So when you select this and press enter, it is now going to show you the same information. But then when you go drill down, when you drill down further and when we press enter, you will observe that last time when we received the advance, we had this information in this line tax on advance receipt. This time it is reflecting under advance tax adjusted minus figure then whatever is the liability from outward supply for the current period will get listed here and this amount will get reduced from the liability amount of igst cgst or sgst and the net amount will get reflected which is what the dealer is supposed to make the payment and file gstr 3b this way using the latest tally software the dealer can manage the complete gst requirement and also manage their operational activities in a very simple manner. During my upcoming sessions also, I will be covering various other GST features that are made available in Tally software for the dealer to manage their GST compliance. I hope the steps shown in the demo, you would have understood that how easy and simple it is to manage the advance refund in Tally Prime and at the same time being compliant as per the GST law and also reduce our total liability from other sales that we have made by adjusting the advance GST that we have paid when you are refunding the amount back to the party. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.